Now, this is the most requested video where I have been asked to talk about Microsoft's online assessment. We'll be talking about different ways in which Microsoft hires and for each process, what is the online assessment that you will be getting, be it Microsoft Engage for second year people, be it Microsoft Engage for final year students, be it online assessment that is conducted when Microsoft visits you on campus or be it when Microsoft hires you through a referral process. So for all these four different processes, we'll be talking about the online assessment. What is the process? What type of questions are being asked? How can you prepare for those? And what is the major factor that is considered while evaluating your answer scripts or while evaluating your code when you submit it on their platform? Hi everyone, this is Ash Koyal. I'm back again with yet another amazing video where we'll be talking about Microsoft's online assessment completely. And this is going to be super amazing. And I hope that you will get some value out of this particular video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's Keep the target of 1500 likes for this particular video. Once I hit 1500 likes, we'll be coming up with a new video for complete interview preparation for Microsoft. So without any further ado, let's get started. So Microsoft as a company, you all know that it offers a CTC of 44 lakhs. And if you're doing an internship at Microsoft, it offers a stipend of 1.25 lakhs per month. So this is something that is really awesome. I'm not just going on the numbers of CTC, but the work life work culture at Microsoft is also the best. So talking about the first thing, like the online assessment for Microsoft Engage. Microsoft Engage is a program for second year people like once you are in your second year and you are in and around April, May, June. So there'll be a test for Microsoft Engage. Once you apply for the test, you'll be getting a test link. So now the important thing is how to prepare for the test and what is there in that online assessment. So the first round is basically an MCQ round that is to screen some of the students because they can't move all the students in the next round. So screening round, you can say that is a screening round in which you'll be getting 10 MCQs and you need to solve them in 30 minutes. What are those 10 MCQs based upon? Those 10 MCQs can be based upon computer science fundamentals. It can be based upon something generic. It can be something related to your mental ability so this is the test of 10 questions in 30 minutes i would rate this question paper i have seen this question paper for this year also for the previous year also and i would rate it as an easy exam as an easy problem set as an easy problem set because you will be getting a lot of time and the question set is limited so your target for this round should be 10 on 10 in the least possible time once you clear this round there's one more round in which there's an open-ended question like it does it varies from student to student it's not that everyone will be getting the same question but each one of you will be getting some unique problem it will be related to computer science in some way or the another but might not be directly coding question it can be a pseudo code it can be something uh, kind of a statement problem it can be something related to mental ability it can be something related to puzzle so there can be anything the major thing that you need to have in this round is presence of mind and what exactly can you quote in a minimum set of words so that's very very important once you clear this round you get into this mentorship program after this mentorship program you get a chance for direct internship or an interview chance at Microsoft. So this was the first opportunity. Next opportunity is Microsoft Engage for final year students. So the second program that Microsoft launches for final year students, once you are in your final year, you will be getting this opportunity in and around November. So what exactly is the process for that opportunity? There's an opening on their website. You can apply directly. Also, many recruiters do contact candidates for that particular opportunity. So make sure you keep your LinkedIn profile very, very active and very, very updated. So they'll ask you whether you're Trusted for engage opportunity whether you want them to schedule the test this test is basically given on a platform known as codility codility is the platform that microsoft is taking tests currently on you will be getting three questions based upon data structure algorithm once you clear this online screening round like you uh, pass on all the test cases for these three questions in this test once you clear this test then you will be moving upon to the next phase like they'll give you an option whether you want to go with the mentorship program or you want to go with the direct interview so it's up to you whichever you will choose they'll go ahead with it and you can get a chance to get a full-time role at Microsoft. So if I talk about this particular test, what is important for this codality test? I won't name any particular data structure or any particular topic as important because each one of you will be getting some different set of questions. So they have a pool of questions from which you will be getting some random three questions. It can be based upon any data structures. But if you're preparing for Microsoft, make sure you do questions related to matrices, questions related to strings, questions related to dynamic programming and graphs. So these are very, very important questions. You will see something related to anagrams or something related to uh, string some problems related to graphs based upon bfs dfs flood fill or floyd wash algorithm these are the standard thing that you should know if you are attempting that particular set of problems and one more important thing for codility platform is that there are hidden test cases you won't be able to see those test cases once you are submitting the problem your problem might be submitted as such on the platform but 
your result might be a little different so there are some hidden test cases on Kodality's platform so this is also something that you should keep in mind next thing that is considered by evaluation is your time of the test like as early as possible what happens is because many people apply for such a great opportunity and a lot of students give this exam so if many of the students are getting 100 on 100 score so what is the next criteria that your evaluation might be based upon so for Microsoft it has been seen that it is generally based upon the time that you took for solving that particular problem so make sure you solve that particular problem in the limited set of time as early as possible for getting yourself shortlisted for the next rounds. Before moving ahead with this video, I would like to talk about Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks has come up with a special program of live courses through which you can learn different technologies and get placement ready. And this time Geeks for Geeks is providing all these live courses with placement assistance that to at zero cost. You'll be getting interview invites from different different companies and along with that you'll be getting help in resume building, priority resume selection, structured feedbacks and much more and the offer is only valid till 3rd July. Which all courses are currently live on the platform. This is system design if you want to learn this course is going to be live very very soon. There's a course on competitive program. There's a course on Java backend development. Also there's a course on full stack development with React and Node and a course on DSA live for working professionals. So all these courses will be live very very soon. If you're looking forward to know which course is the best for you, I'll give the form link in the description where you can fill that form and you will be getting special counseling from Geeks for Geeks through that. So make sure you do check out the link in the description. Third thing is on campus process. When Microsoft visits on campus, it conducts a test like whether Microsoft is coming for software engineer intern or whether Microsoft is coming for software engineer full time so they'll be conducting this test that's again a test similar to what it conducts for Microsoft Engage. It's based upon the platform known as Codility generally, or it's based upon platform known as Metal. So both of these platforms test cases are hidden and it's highly proctored test. So please make sure that you don't uh, cheat or change the tab. Whenever you change tabs, they'll be getting a count key how many times you have changed the tab and they will simply disqualify you. So there's no use changing the tabs. There's no use cheating in any other way. So this is this, this round is very important. I would rate the difficulty level of Codility problems from easy to medium. Mostly you will be able to solve those problems. Those are generally standard problems and you might have already solved them. So the main thing is the confidence that you have on that day of test. That is very, very, very important. Have patience, have faith and just go ahead and give that test. So the last thing is referral based hiring. It is again the test of Codility or sometimes on metal how this is conducted. Like uh, if somebody is getting multiple offers, let's say at some point of time they decline the offer from Microsoft. So they have some requirements from that particular bad that they need these many freshers so, so for those particular situations they have this option for referral based hiring where they can hire they can send test links for those vacant positions that, that have been vacated if somebody has rejected an offer from Microsoft I hope this video was quite helpful and you got an understanding of how the online assessment of Microsoft looks like do let me know in the comment section of which other company you want me to analyze the online assessment for and I'll be coming up with the video very very soon till then you can subscribe to this channel for more such amazing updates coming ahead I already have a video where I have described the entire process of Microsoft how can you get into Microsoft what are the different interview rounds and other things that you might not miss on to so check out this video for Microsoft and let's meet you in some other video check out geeks for geeks the link is there in the description below you can fill out the form for more details on this